Hey YouTube, I am Tianaka Star, and this is my blog, or vlog, video, vlog, yeah. So, um, today I'm just going to be filming a simple wash and go. I'm going to call it my mix match wash and go because the products that I'm using come from different companies. It's because it's what I have, like, this is life right now. You got to use what you have, and um, then you'll be blessed with more. So, I'm excited to start the vlog. I know y'all took care of me, dog. This is what my hair looks like right now because it's been a few days since I've done really anything to it. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and get this thing washed out. So I started out with As I Am's Coconut Co-Wash. Just to simply co-wash my hair. Then I used Cream of Nature's um, Mango and Shea Butter Ultra Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. And finally, the Zion Essentials Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I also used an oil mixture of coconut oil, argan oil, extra virgin olive oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and probably olive calo, avocado oil <laughs> and some kind of nut oil um, to just make my mix. I've had this mix for a while and I forgot to uh, write it down and I don't remember. I thought I took a picture of it um, when I made the oils because I don't even remember like what type of oils or brand that I used. I know I went to like Earth Fair and picked up some oils in the hair store to get like the um, argan oil and stuff. But either way, so this is my hair, just straight co-washed, nothing else done. Sometimes I'll actually just kind of co-wash my hair, maybe do a leave-in and some oil and keep it moving. Um, but today I decided to actually do a style because, because I actually have an event to go to in a couple of days, uh, meeting some friends for brunch. And um, I don't want to have to style my hair that day. For one, I take too long to get ready. And then you know how what, three, four day hair is always better than the first day hair. <clears throat> Especially for me, because my hair likes to shrink. Um, so my hair takes a little time to fluff. So right now you can see I'm just parting my hair. And um, I like to do six sections because of how my hair is textured differently all over my head. Um, this just works best for me. So normally I do like five or six sections, just depending. I always start with the back. Um, <clears throat> this texture here is fairly curly. I'm not sure exactly where it falls on the hair typing scale. Somebody can help me out with that. That would be awesome. Uh, but it definitely has a very curly texture. Also, this part <clears throat> was um, under the back. I had an undercut for a while, real low cut with designs that I used to keep in it. <laughs> And so it's been about a year that I've been growing that out. So, you know, it also is a, a lot shorter under there as well. So <clears throat> I'm using a wide soup comb, you know, to comb through my hair. And the tips are a little harder to comb through because they still have a little bit of blonde and bleach from when I actually um, <clears throat> dyed my tips and I actually cut it all off. I cut off about six inches of a super, super blonde color. <laughs> because I was actually trying to get like an ice white or a silvery gray kind of look. So yeah, that's the end result of that. And there's still a little bit left. I'll eventually cut it. Like, I don't mind cutting my hair at all. <laughs> it always grows back. I've actually cut my hair way more than I probably should have as far as, you know, my mom is concerned. <laughs> she hates when I cut my hair. But either way. So yeah, I'm just raking and smoothing. Um, and just kind of getting my hair to the texture I like. And then I just, you know, put a little ponytail holder on that section when I'm done. And then I like to start on the front of the sides afterwards. Again, just kind of breaking and smoothing, getting product in. Um, and another reason that I section my hair like this, some parts of my hair, because of the textures are different, don't require as much of the same amount of products. Like some parts need more conditioner, some parts need more oil, and so that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles in regards to my hair. All right. <clears throat> and I also use a Denman brush. So most of my tools are either a rat tail comb, a wide tooth comb, and a Denman brush. And my little ponytail holders. Yeah. And I know you guys see me talking because initially I did this uh, recording with my camera and then because it took so long 
and there was so much going on. I said, well, you know what? I'll just do this voiceover. So there we go. And yeah, we're still just breaking through, combing through, getting the hair to the desired uh, curl texture. And again, thank you so much for watching my very first YouTube video. Super excited to, you know, make these, see how this goes. That's fun. All right, so now this part right here, this section of my hair, is what I consider uh, to be the most coarse. Um, it requires a lot of product, especially a lot of good thick leave-in conditioner, um, a lot of oil. Because that's the, uh, what do we call it, the crown of my head. It's definitely the most coarse. Uh, requires the most attention. But the curls are popping once they actually, you know, get it together. And as you can see, this requires lots of breaking through. Eventually, I'm going to cut all of the rest of this color out of my hair. Just completely, you know, grab my natural texture and color and everything. Because certain people don't like for me to cut my hair, I uh, have to do it a little bit at a time. So. <clears throat> so this is the very front part, and this is the texture here is super loose curls are very very loose here and this section may not require um, as much in the way of like raking and combing but it still requires product um, because the, the looseness of the curls means it kind of lays flat especially with it being at the top and this is the kind of the longest part of my hair because it just wasn't colored as much it lays because once my hair gets longer and longer it the curls loosen and it lays a lot flatter so I have to fluff this so much and do so much to this section <laughs> all right so now I'm kind of just taking my hair down it's starting to dry air dry which is the best thing for me every now and again I'll use a diffuser unlike um, low kind of cool or a little bit warm air and everything hot and everything too high but it's kind of dry I love for it to air dry so I'm just going to fluff it out a little bit for you guys so you can <clears throat> start to see how the product affected the texture after just the cold wash and I'm just kind of playing with it letting it fluff let it do its thing and my hair just kind of likes to do its own thing either way like I'll play in it I'll fluff in it but it honestly just has to go through its day for it to get to where it needs to go. And also me fluffing it like this lets me see which sections need a little more product here and there. Anything that I missed on the inside of the parts so everybody can be consistent. Yeah. <laughs> just my mixed match wash and go but I just came back really quick to show you the completely dry wash and go like some bounce mad shrinkage but that's always happens with my hair it shrinks a lot 